G'day, I'm Paul from Tradco. Today we're going to demonstrate how to install a privacy bolt in a timber door. While a privacy bolt can be installed at its own, they are typically used in conjunction with a separate tube latch and doorknob or lever on rows. If you haven't already, we recommend watching our tube latch installation video before proceeding. Tradco provide a range of privacy bolts and privacy turns in finishes to match our entire door furniture range. Before we begin, please make sure you have downloaded and printed the appropriate template from our website. If you are installing the privacy bolt independently, please use one of our tube latch templates, which can also be used for our privacy bolts. However, if you intend to use the privacy bolt with our long backplate door furniture, please use one of our tube latch and privacy templates. Always make sure that your template has printed truly by using a ruler to check that it scales correctly. For this project, you will need the following equipment. Your Tradco privacy bolt, faceplate and screws, a Tradco privacy turn, your template, a tape measure and pencil, a power drill, selection of spade and timber drill bits, some tape, an adjustable carpenter's square, screwdriver, chisels, hammer, and wedges. To begin, place your wedge under the edge of the door to keep it steady while working. For the purpose of this video, we will be showing the privacy bolt installed beneath an existing tube latch and lever. To determine the appropriate location of your privacy bolt, fold the template on the door edge making sure that the top of the template is not overlapping the tube latch faceplate. Now, place your privacy turn over your spindle hole on the template to ensure that you are comfortable with the location. Affix with tape. Then fold the template around the door edge, aligning the vertical center with the center of the door edge. Affix with tape. With a 2mm drill bit, mark all of the drill marks and elements of the template, making sure to push the drill bit right through the face of the door to the other side. You can now remove the template. Select the 22mm spade bit, which should be slightly wider than the privacy bolt body to ensure a comfortable fit within the door cavity. To ensure you drill the correct depth, line the drill bit up against the privacy bolt body and mark the depth on the drill bit with a pencil. Wrap a piece of tape around the drill bit in line with the pencil mark. Continue to drill a hole for the privacy bolt as indicated on the template, making sure to drill to the depth of the tape on the drill bit. Now check if the privacy bolt fits. If required, make some minor adjustments until it fits comfortably in the cavity. Mark the edges of the faceplate by scoring with a Stanley knife and mark the top and bottom with your pencil. Once the edges are marked, proceed to chisel out the faceplate rebate. Please take caution though, as this step will be difficult to undo if the rebate is too deep. It is always better to chisel out a shallower rebate and make minor adjustments until the correct depth is reached and the faceplate sits flush. Also, be very careful when chiseling near the door edge, as it is very easy to split the door. We recommend you take out small amounts at a time. Before proceeding, check that your faceplate sits flush. Now select an 18mm spade bit for the spindle hole. Using your drill marks, drill the spindle hole one side at a time pushing the drill bit through to the cavity. Now drill from the other side of the door to complete the spindle hole. Place your privacy latch in the cavity and using the spindle supplied with your privacy turn, check that it slides freely through the privacy latch and is level. Pre-drill screw holes and fix in place with the wood screws by hand using a screwdriver. Finally, attach your privacy turn to the spindle making sure to affix the thumb turn to the inside of the door and the backing with safety release to the outside of the door. We now need to install your strike plate to the door frame. First, extend the privacy bolt and close the door against the door frame. 
Mark the top and bottom of the extended privacy bolt to determine the vertical position of the bolt. Square the lines around the edge of the frame. To determine the horizontal position of your stripe plate, use a carpenter's square to work out the center line of your face plate on the door edge and transcribe onto the door frame. Now, place your stripe plate in line with your bolt marks. Trace around the outside with a pencil. Using a drill, drill a rebate for the latch tongue. The latch tongue rebate should be a minimum of 15mm deep to ensure correct functionality. Continue to chisel out the stripe plate rebate. Please take caution though, as this step will be difficult to undo if the rebate is too deep. It is always better to chisel out a shallower rebate and make minor adjustments until the correct depth is reached and the strike plate sits flush. Finally, fix the strike plate in place with wood screws by hand using a screwdriver. Now check that the latch works and moves freely. Your privacy door is now ready to use. Remember, we stock a large range of door levers and knobs to use with your privacy door, and these can all be viewed on our website. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more helpful videos.